Tomezi Entertainment. <laughs> Tomazzi Entertainment showcasing Edmonton's exciting new bands. Interviewing musicians and finding out what makes them tick. Edmonton, behind the mic. Hello, and welcome to episode 10 of Edmonton Behind the Mic. Dylan will be interviewing the band Iron Kingdom. Thank you for being on Edmonton Behind the Mic. Thanks for having us, buddy. Thanks for having us. <laughs> uh, what's the name of your band? Iron Kingdom. Iron Kingdom. Okay. Well, what's uh, what's with that name? Uh, it's uh, basically a heavy metal land. <laughs> the Iron Kingdom, you know? <laughs> All the metalheads unite. <laughs> Is that how you came up with the name? I mean... Not really. <laughs> but, but it sounded cool to think of it that good. way. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, so I believe I've been told that all these aren't your full members right now. Is that true? Yeah, basically we're doing this tour as a temporary lineup for the most. Like it's half me and Layton. Bass, I sing, play guitar. We're in the band like permanently kind of thing or whatever until we give up. No, I'm just kidding. And or die. <laughs> yeah, or die. Whichever and, comes uh, yeah, whichever comes first. Yeah, and I mean, I was she, a founding member with them, yeah. but I have since left. Uh, me and Brad are engaged, so we're going to oh. yeah, so do that. They're filling in for the this tour. It's a real so family can... affair. <laughs> and this is my brother. I didn't break the band up, I swear to God. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so there's no cheating, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It sounds good. Well, we're working on finding some, like, actual replaced members but uh that will be in the future we're, we're not ready to announce any of those details at this time but Uh, do you guys have any albums out? Yeah, we have uh, three studio albums out. And a live album. And a live album. Live vinyl. Okay. You can find this where? Uh, you can find it on our website. We have uh, www.iron-kingdom.com. We sell all of our merch on there. But you can also find it like Underground Power Records in Germany. They distribute to Asia and Australia, I think, and, and Europe. Okay, well, uh, you said you have three studio albums? That's right. Uh, what inspired these albums? Basically, like, growing up, we didn't really identify with the metal, like, the current metal we were hearing. Yeah. We wanted to do, like, the 70s, 80s kind of yeah. stuff. So we felt it was missing. Like, you know, we wanted to bring it so that people of our age and younger could experience what people in the 80s, when they were our age, could have experienced. You know what I mean? Okay, well, what bands in the past and 80s inspire you? Uh, Scorpions, Iron Maiden, Judas Priest... Uh, Saxon, except Saxon, Halloween, uh, Bl uh, Blind Guardian, uh, Ice Earth, yeah, there's uh, Rush, Riot, <laughs> Riot, yeah, Quiet Riot, no, there's, Manila there's a bunch, Road. yeah, Manila, Manila Road. Road, wow, yeah, yeah. That, a lot of inspiration there. Yeah. 
All right, uh, I, I noticed you have a female in the band, and even if she's temporary or not, do you feel that she influences you guys, uh, maybe in how the music goes? Well, I mean, well, I'm not, I mean she, she's I've feeling it now. Here. I've been in the band for like seven oh, years. All yeah. three <laughs> albums that we wrote and the live vinyl that was, was recorded, yeah. it was her on top. Yeah. She, she obviously had some type of influence, a softer influence over the music, I imagine. A softer uh, No, I don't actually, know I I'm softer. hard. I think I, hard. I was hard. Yeah. If anything, I'm. Yeah. There's there's times Heavier. where I'll go a little softer sometimes with some of the yeah. stuff, but I mean that's not necessarily always. It's, you know, I just go in moods of different phases and stuff. I wouldn't say. Yeah, I, I definitely because wouldn't. I'm female doesn't mean I like soft. No, no, no. <laughs> no. Not at all. She well, listens to like Amon Martha and stuff too. Eh? <laughs> like. Okay, uh, well, you gotta admit that most of the bands are male oriented. Oh yeah. Yeah yeah. Yep. I mean. There's a, a lot of, I mean, heavy metal basically was like marketed more towards men, I think, especially in the beginning. Um, but at the same time, like, I don't see why everybody couldn't enjoy it or everybody couldn't listen to it. It's, you know, it's a it's a musical style that gives you, like, it makes you feel strong and, you know, excited and powerful and whatever. I don't know. It's just fun to listen to. Like, I think it's for anybody who wants to listen to it, you know, or play it or. I would agree. <laughs> <laughs> First time to Edmonton? No. No, no, no. Uh, How many times have you been here? Uh, four? Uh, at, least at least three. Four. And you said you're from Vancouver. That is correct. That's right. So if you had to say which one's better, Vancouver or Edmonton, to play at, what would you say? <laughs> well, I think... Well, the, show has, I think the show hasn't happened I yet. I think um, this is online. And, uh, <laughs> no, honestly, the show hasn't happened yet. We've. I'm really excited Sloan put this show together. And, uh, and honestly, like when people say things like, what city's better or something. I never see it as a competition. I see it as like, you know, sometimes bands just establish themselves with the right acts or the right promoter or whatever, and you build your scene and it's awesome. Like for your band, it's it's great. But you just need to work harder and get that scene built up, right? And that's, so I don't necessarily see any city as being like bad or better than another one or something. It's just maybe we haven't had the right opportunity there. Or maybe we haven't, they just didn't like, get it. Or, they can be good, like just as awesome in different ways. Yes, I think. and that like, too, like, you know. Like Vancouver's awesome because like, you know, we obviously have our buddies there, like we know people obviously like it's a hometown. It's a hometown thing. Yeah. So it's like it feel it always feels like you're at home, like you're like, yeah, like you know, everybody's there to support and it's awesome, you know. But uh, Vancouver cool has its drawbacks, I will say. Yeah. It's it's very hard to get it's I mean, hard to grow. It's honestly. hard to grow unless you're like a radio nickelback or like if you're stupidly famous already. It's it's hard to it's grow. just yeah it's just hard to start from the ground level and a lot of people are very judgmental, and which I'm sure is in every city but you know you build. Well there you go folks Edmonton's better. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure that's quite. <laughs> <laughs> I think you say kind of what you say. Kind of what you say. <laughs>
let's say for instance you guys are flying to some awesome show and then boom you die in a plane crash what's the one song you want to be remembered by for your music yes a lot of people say other you know i want your music <laughs> egypt probably egypt, egypt. Yeah. and that was like top of the mind immediately. yeah me too egypt. yeah it's just it's it's a 15 minute epic that we wrote it's kind of like I don't know. It, it's like our masterpiece in a way. Yeah. And it's, and honestly, it goes through so many different emotions throughout the, the song that you could probably. It's a lot of people's favorite too. Like yeah. it's 15 minutes. You think you might get bored, but you don't. Like it changes so yeah. often. Yeah. And, and and it goes through like I was saying. It's really really well written. Yeah. Yeah, and there's like so many emotions that I think you could kind of you could almost read into like our personalities throughout the song. You know. I don't know. That's kind of how I see it. But it's my favorite song to play live. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which is, you know, you would think, oh, 15 minutes, you'd be tired after. No, like, it's, it's my yeah. favorite song to play live. Yeah, it's very, it's, just, uh, yeah, it's constantly, like, evolving, and mm -hmm. but without without changing the song itself, you know, like, it comes around. And, anyway, <laughs> check it out if you're interested, <laughs> yeah. but, you know. Okay, uh, which album is that on? The That's off Case Returning. Returning. We'll be yeah. playing it tonight. Yeah. Oh, okay, awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay. So, do you guys have any albums uh, in the future coming? We're, we are working on. Yeah, we're, we're writing a new one. Yes. Right now. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah. Currently. We're right this second. <laughs> yeah. Right now, we're actually thinking and like telepathically going like, okay, awesome. dude, what do you think of this riff? Really and that he's like, sweet. yeah, that's sick. And then and then we're still doing the interview at the same time. Okay. That's yeah. Interesting. So when do you figure it'll be done by roughly? Uh, probably like five minutes. All right. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right. Well, you can find that on his channel and. Yeah. We'll record on stage tonight. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, next year. We're probably gonna Some hopefully year. release early next year, but honestly, like me saying that is who knows. Just, just next year. Uh, so, so you guys are on like a tour right now? Yeah. 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 So we were doing uh, it was eleven shows. Yeah, eleven. Yeah, eleven shows. Uh, BC, Alberta, and the Yukon. Yeah, and this is we're playing our second album, Gates of Eternity, in its entirety. It's kind of a special show. I mean, since Amanda had actually recorded on it, we figured let's do that instead of new material. It's also and the fifth anniversary of the album. Yeah. Uh, and five years ago, we went on, uh, it was a big cross Canada tour, uh, and Brad was actually a roadie. Yeah, it was and much so, longer. So five years later, you know, we're, we're touring the album again, kind of, and uh, Brad's with us on guitar, and we're, we're only really doing the first leg, yeah. kind of recreating. We're doing like the first two weeks, and then we're gonna once we get our lineup together then we're gonna do a bunch of touring then but uh when you said the whole plane crash thing that almost happened to us holy moly our vehicle we totaled our, our yeah, van a van trailer wow. <laughs> yeah so you would be remembered for that one song then maybe that would be cool well, but who hopefully knows? a little bit more than that than one, one song, song yeah. but yeah <laughs> it'd probably more realistically be voodoo queen just because it's more popular as far as because there's a music video and stuff but if we all died we could get more popular. There yeah, go, maybe. Man. Have us all the time. <laughs> yeah. I'd like to thank you all for the interview and uh, thanks again for everything and uh, yeah, and uh, thanks. Thank you. Yeah, thank thanks you. for having us on. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah. Cheers. Thank you for watching Edmonton Behind the Mic. Please leave a thumbs up and a comment and let me know what you thought of the episode. And if you'd like to see more, hit one of these boxes.